Good evening. Here is the world news from BGI TV, Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Mori Ray Rabida Lawa. First are the major headlines for the world news. Buhari unveils new Naira notes at Asa Rock. Naira redesign Buhari Emefile plate Nigerians only change die of currency. Show rep. President Buhari nominates Loretta Onochi as NDDC chairperson. Yoruba monarchs don't care about people. Sunday, Igbo. One dead, palace in flames in Ikiru over renewed Akiru kingship tussle. Fake loan company flees with Ogun residents' money. Nigerian police arrest four notorious kidnappers, recover guns in Ogun. And to foreign story, gunmen kills 10 in U.S. Walmart store. On sports, Morocco nil, Croatia nil, World Cup live results. Now, the news in detail. The President, Major General Mohamed Buhari, retired on Wednesday morning, unveiled the redesigned Nera notes across the 200 Nera, 500 Nera, and 1,000 denominations. Buhari unveiled the north at the council chambers of the state house shortly before the kickoff of this week's Federal Executive Council meeting. Fielding questions from correspondents after the events, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile, insisted that the move is not targeted at anyone. Rather, he said the redesigned note would give the Apex Bank ample control over the amount of money in circulation. This move is to enable the Central Bank of Nigeria to have control over the size of money in circulation. There is no need to think that the program is targeted at anyone. During my speech at the unveiling, I said that plans for this started early in the year. We consider the pros and cons carefully. In the past, attempts to redesign and reissue currencies have been resisted. Only a president of Buhari's character could have made it possible and happen, he said. Still on the narrow north, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, or Moyale Shore, on Wednesday, not President Mohamed Buhari and the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefile, over the newly redesigned narrow notes. Shore accused Buhari and Emefile of playing Nigerians by redesigning the Naira. In a tweet, the AAC presidential candidate described the president and the CBN governor as crooks. He stressed that no significant change occurred to the Naira and it seems Nigerians have been deceived again. Buhari had unveiled the redesigned 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira North at the commencement of the weekly meeting of the Federal Executive Council, FEC. The new Naira note will become legal tender commencing from December 15th, while the old ones will cease to be legal tender effective February 1st, 2023. This is the first time in 19 years that Nigeria will be redesigning some of our currency north. Sharing on photograph on Twitter show express disappointment at the development. Moving on to the next story. President Mohamed Buhari on Wednesday nominated Loretta Onoche as the substantial chairman of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Onoche is a special assistant to the president on new media. The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, read the nomination letter Senate sent to the Senate by the president at the plenary on Wednesday. Lawan read out the other 15 members, making up the list for the NDDC, just as former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Dr. Pius Odubu, General Charles Ahibiri is the Executive Director of Finance. Moving on to the next story. Yoruba Nation agitator Chief Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Go, has accused Yoruba monarchs and the government of being selfish at its concerning security in the region. Sunday Go set a diesel on an Instagram post on Tuesday in reaction to the adoption of a former aide of Ondo State Governor Rutimi Akeridulu, the former aide Richard Omosei, was last Saturday abducted by six gunmen at his Ibekobo residence in Eseldo, council area of Ondo. His abductors have asked for 100 million naira to release him. Reacting to this, Sunday Igbo wrote from Benin Republic 
Omodua, it's already happening. No one is immune to the chaos created by the government. If we do not stand united and take actions now, it will become worse than this. These people are going into house to kill, kidnap and rape our women, sisters and children. We are helpless. All Yoruba monarchs, governments and others in the position to make changes are mute. They don't care about us. Let us all join hands together and raise our voices. Sunday Bowo got national attention with his call for self-determination for the Yoruba over the attacks on Yoruba by the others believed to be Fulani. He added, we want Yoruba nation, we want to be separated and have our own system of government. So situations like this doesn't happen, so our economy can be stabilized. From that story, we go to the next story from Yoruba State or Shun precisely. Information has gathered that a section of the palace of the Akinru of Ikinru on Wednesday went up in flames as the overship tussles in the Asian town takes a tone for the wars. This is an information coming in indicates that one person identified as Lukman or Malara has reportedly been shot dead also as a result of the renewed crisis relating to the Akinru of Ikinru's too. Crisis, it was gathered, erupted on Wednesday over alleged plans to smuggle the new Akinru of Baolalekon Academy into the palace. The late king was reportedly a descendant of the Goleru ruling house, one of the ruling houses fighting to fill the royal stool before it was passed on to the Obara ruling house via an Oshun High Court ruling. The Ikiru Obership Tozu rocking the town was renewed after the Oshun state government appointed Prince Yunusa Olalekon Akadiri as the Akiru and also after the new king allegedly led other persons to the town to gain access to the palace. Moving on to the next story. Sorrow and sadness rented the air on Tuesday at 7-4, Fidipoti streets of Italako Ijebode, Ogun State, the operation base of a fake loan company after it fled with millions of naira deposited by many traders. Platform Times gathered that many depositors woke up on Tuesday and discovered that the door to the office of the loan company was under locked and key, and after forcing it open, there was no longer any sign of oppression in the office. Platform Times for the length that scores of residents of Ogun State have been duped of their earned money, running into millions of naira. Grief, shock, and shattered hopes forced tears down the victims' eyes, who included aged widows, market women, and other traders when they found out that the officials of Apex Vintage Limited office have fled with their money. Some residents who spoke with Platform Times said Ash economic condition led hundreds of the victims into the slimy end of suspected falseness, who disguised as a financial institution to issue financial and food support system, Platform Times report. Platform Times also gathered that in a bid not to be starved to death, the victims in the Jabode became host to money sucking parasite identified as Apex Vintage Limited. Less than a month after the inception of the financial institution in the community, report has it that the company has folded up into thin air with millions of naira without leaving traces of their whereabouts. From that story, we go to another story within urban states. The Ogo State Command of the Nigeria Police Force has confirmed the arrest of four members of a notorious King Na gang which had been terrorizing Abeokuta, the state capital, and its environs. The Ogo State Police Public Relations Officer, SP Abi Mbola Oyemi, in a statement on Wednesday said the suspect, identified as Ismaila Ibrahim, 21, Musa Mohammed, 26, Irekura Abu, 43, and Okola Mohammed, 26, were arrested by the police operatives following a series of kidnap cases at Shoyoye and Ibaraurile areas of Abeokuta. According to the police spokesperson, having received reports of kidnap cases in the aforementioned areas, the Commissioner of Police, CP Larry Bankoli, directed the anti kidnapping team of the command to move into the areas and fish out the perpetrators of the dastardly act. In compliance with the CP's directive, the SP Taiwo or Padino led team embarked on a technical and tactical intelligence based investigation which led them to one of the suspects, Irukaru Abu, who was later discovered to be the supplier of guns to the hoodlums. Moving on to the next story on foreign. A gunman has killed up to 10 people in the Walmart superstore in Chesapeake in the U.S. state of Virginia, police said. 
Reports say the man, a store manager, opened fire, turned the gun on himself and is now dead. The city of Chase Peak tweeted, police confirm an active shooter. Incidents with fatalities at the Monworth. There are few details, but the police officers spoke of less than 10 killed and multiple injured. No motive has emerged, yet in the U.S. East Coast city, BBC says. Completing the world news is from the sports angle. Croatia failed to break down African giant Morocco in their opening Group F clash. The 2018 World Cup finalists came close on a couple of occasions, particularly from Nikola Lasky late on in the first half. But Akim Ziyech and Cole stood strong as the Moroccans on for knockout qualification. Morocco and Croatia played perhaps the most helpless, goalless draw so far in the 2022 World Cup at the Albert Stadium. The 2018 World Cup finalists failed to replicate their performances from four years ago when they eliminated England from the semi-finals. But Slako's Dalek's men came to the closest to a goal on 45th minute when Bona Sosa delivered a low cross from the left and Nikola Lasik got a sliding shot that was denied by a stunning save by Yassin Bono. A good point for Morocco or Croatia may have needed the full three points in a group that also includes Canada and one of the World Cup favorites, Belgium. That ends the world news from DGI TV this hour. Before we go, some major headlines. Buhari unveils new Nero notes at Asarok. Nero redesign Buhari Emifili played Nigeria's only change that of the currency. We also brought to you Yoruba Mona don't care about people. Sunday Igbo cries out. And finally on sports, Morocco nil, Croatia nil. For more updates on YouTube, our under is Babak Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Morire Rebila Lawa. Oh, na -na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh. Just want to be G I T V, B G I T V. I want in the media. Oh na na na. If you want to know what's going on in city, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh. Just want to be G I T V, B G I T V. I want in the media.